The university deeply appreciates the governor's strong commitment to improved care for Mauna Kea. We share that commitment. We agree that the university can and must do better. And we apologize for where our efforts have fallen short to date. The specific actions the governor requested today are consistent with what we have heard in public testimony, discussions, and meetings with numerous community members and stakeholders over the past two months. We appreciate his support as accomplishing many of them will require close collaboration with the state and with other partners. We'll issue a more comprehensive statement within this week that will describe our steps forward with the state and the community. And I'd be happy to take questions. Um, you apologize for just some of the areas where the university has fallen short. Could you elaborate on just some of those areas where you uh, feel that the university has fallen short? Um, I think the governor highlighted several of them. Um, we could be more active on decommissioning. Um, we could do, do more on the cultural stewardship side of the house. How we'll say a little bit more about that. How much was the University of Hawaii involved in this outcome? Um, this is the governor's personal view, in my opinion. And uh, the concern about access and training. Um, Absolutely. Will you be involved in that or will DLNR? It wasn't real clear on the governor's statement. We expect to be working pretty carefully with them. I looked through the list and I'd say more than half of them will require some close collaboration between UH and DLNR. What did you think of the proposal to return 10,000 acres to the DLNR? I haven't counted acreage, but I think the university is not opposed to returning land to DLNR that isn't part of our mission in support of astronomy. And what do you think uh, this announcement today does to Hawaii's reputation in the scientific community? Um, I would say the bigger issue there is, you know, what happens with the future of TNT, which I, I don't have any more to say than what the governor said. I mean, are you concerned that uh, folks will just go elsewhere because they see, you know, that... I think the governor yeah. gave a strong and powerful statement that supported shared use and activity on Mauna Kea. Are you fully on board with everything the governor said? If not, what exactly and why? I think we're going to take a few more days to digest and we'll get back to you kind of going through an action plan on how we would propose to move forward. Mm -hmm. The TMT is already giving millions of dollars, um, you know, away in to fund education, and the governor asked for more, you know, more commitment to scholarships and whatnot today. What did you think about that? Do you think that's fair? I think that um, he made requests of us, and he made requests of TMT, and we each have to do what we have to do. But um, you know, we're generally believe that his requests of us are reasonable. Um, we have had a good relationship with TMT and we can talk with them also about um, more investments in scholarships. Um, we're definitely in support of more investments in scholarships and um, more higher education for the people of Hawaii. Has TNT indicated when they will want to resume construction? I am not aware of that. Could you describe what, what does TNT mean for the University of Hawaii? What sort of role should it have um, for the future TMT? Um, well, TMT, when it's completed, will be the largest ground-based telescope in the world. Um, it'll be a you know, significant scientific asset, and um, we hope a valued member of um, Hawaii, the Hawaii community. The university um, had some meetings uh, that were very open. A lot of the protesters, especially on the Big Island, had voiced their concerns about this. What do you think today's announcement, uh, what type of message do you think that sends to those who were involved in those meetings? I think you probably need to talk with them about that. Do, do you agree with the governor that science is taking precedent over culture on the mountain? I believe there's more we can do to enhance our cultural stewardship of the mountain, and that's what the governor said today. But you can't specifically highlight anything besides what the governor did on. I how think you feel that's what we're going to. That's what we'll be doing over the next days. Mm -hmm. so. Does this concern you as far as looking ahead to renewing the sublease? Uh, the master lease? Yeah, the master lease. I think the governor laid out um, an approach to that. We've talked with he and his staff about some of that, but we did agree to restart the um, EISPN process, which is a step along the way toward a renewed lease in which we would um, 
probably provide some additional alternatives um, that could be reviewed by the community in accord with the state's EIS processes. Well, Walter Ritty was pretty uh, emphatic at the beginning that this was not just about one telescope and that he wanted all of the telescopes to be taken down. Obviously, the governor is you know, more rational and saying, okay, we'll take down where we, where we can. Are you but, <laughs> quoting her on <laughs> uh, But, you know, what if they just say no? And continue I, to I, I mean, we have every step along the way, the university and TMT have tried to follow the law of the land. And that's what I think um, we intend to continue to do. Do you think removing at least a fourth, uh, decommissioning at least a fourth of the telescopes by the time the TMT is constructed, is that possible, is that reasonable? We'll say a little bit more about that, but um, decommissioning has been on our mind um, and moving forward to really show um, some concrete actions so that we aren't just thinking about it and talking about it quietly. I think for some of these things, it's just time for us to speak more publicly about some of them. What about um, legally binding the university um, to ensure that this is the last telescope on the mountain? We actually had already committed to that um, in the previous plan, so um, we are going to have to figure out what it would mean to do something that would be legally binding beyond what we've other, already done, but certainly the commitment that that's the last telescope site is something we've said for quite some time. About restarting the EIS process? That's also, um, we have had conversations about that internally. Um, we think we can draw out some additional ideas and um, um, different ways that the lease process might, the next lease might look than the current lease. Thanks, thanks everybody. Thank you, thanks for being available. Hi.